Hey yo! What's going on, everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. Do I have an epic video for you today? This is the long version of me killing every single guard on the Cayo Perico Island while running the heist, getting the max amount of money. Now, it was impossible to do the elite challenge because of the amount of time it was going to take to do this. All right. And I did this on my live stream, so thousands of people got to witness me actually do this. And I know this is something that's been done, but I have never done this. And my stream and my chat and my community members have been asking me to do this forever. They're like, Tommy, you know, you're the Kayo King, you're the Alpha and Omega. We want to see you do this. And I'm like, ah, it's been done. You know, I don't want people saying that I'm doing this or, you know, just copying somebody else. But it's my own version of this. It was a lot of fun. And I was challenged to this by one of my members. Uh, and they were even gracious enough. Big shout out to Kay. She placed a bet that I had to do it in a certain amount of time. I didn't get the time, but she still hooked me up with the bet winnings anyways, which is really, really cool. Big shout out to Kay. Uh, love you, man. You're awesome. It really, she's awesome. All right. Anyways, though. But uh, yeah, so this is the deal. I had to get into the island. I flew into the airport. I marked out all the guards on the way there. Got into the compound. Got the primary target, which was a beautiful pink diamond and then i marked all the guards on the way out and left from the airport as well i'm having to dodge the chopper i'm having to get, i mean i made some insane headshots over here i mean it was awesome there's a few things that i did do though i had the guard clothes that were available to me i so i did that i put the guard clothes on which you'll see here in a minute which made it a little bit easier to go through except on the back end of the heist where you can be seen uh, it really just helped out on the way in, and I did shut down all of the cameras, all right? Now, a lot of people are like, Ty, why don't you drug and poison the guards? I didn't want to do, I didn't want to have too many crutches. I wanted it to be somewhat of a challenge, right? It's not fun for a challenge to be too easy, you know what I mean? Uh, so, I wanted to go ahead and get that knocked out. I was still having some threat of being caught. And right now, I want you guys to guess the amount of time it took me to get through this. As you see, I'm eating up time just trying to jump on this damn box to get over here and get the, uh, to get the cocoa, right? But yeah, so I wanted to make sure I maxed out my secondary loot with as much money as I could. So I had two stacks of cocoa, which I got. And then I just systematically went through the whole entire island, the north dock, main dock, all the you know nooks and crannies, took out all the guard towers, everything, or all the tower guards. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I made some really good shots. My weapon loadout was the aggressor uh, weapon loadout. It was the machine pistol and the assault shotgun. And the reason why I chose that, a lot of people are like, Ty, why don't you use a sniper rifle, the assault rifle? The main reason why I chose this is, one, the machine pistol is great. For, it's got good range, and I have a lot of practice with this uh, weapon loadout. And the shotgun is the best weapon to use to take out the juggernaut inside the compound. That's the main reason. People are like, yeah, you could use the bullpup rifle, and then that'll take out the guard, but you got to use the whole clip. And I'm thinking, man, you know what? This shotgun is devastating. And for this particular reason right here, as I went through this and noticed this, when there's two guards standing real close together, you can just do like a double melee. You can melee them real fast together. And uh, you'll knock them out. But there's several instances where those guards are standing together, but they're too far apart for you to do a double melee without getting shot and possibly, you know, alerting the guards. So for that reason, the assault shotgun is epic. You just go in there, you take out one guard with the headshot, and then you just melt the other guard and, you know, burn them down. And that's the way to go. All right. And, of course, I used the uh, Manchester Scout to get around a lot quicker, which definitely helped out. And you know, made a, you, know, you can also shoot from the Manchester Scout as well, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so again, I took out the cameras on the compound right here. I used the guard outfit to get around, but again, the guard outfit didn't help on the back end. You know, you had to be very stealthy through the compound, and then on the way out as well, because the guard the guards are already alerted to somebody being there. So that really helped out. Here's me shutting down the cameras, and still, even with the cameras shut down, I was very careful to make sure that the cameras didn't see any downed guards that I had left behind. I took out the cameras uh, just for that reason. But you can't take out too many of them because that will alert as well. All right. So I had a lot of fun with this. A big, big shout out again to Kay and everybody that was watching me live do this. It was so much fun. I did this on my live stream. So, I, you know, a lot of people saw this actually happen. 
Uh, I will also have a shorter, more edited version later on, uh, so if you guys want to watch that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you to just enjoy the video. Watch it in its entirety, you know, if you're driving to work or if you're just, you know, kind of just chilling at the house or whatever, you can have this on and enjoy it and hang out and uh, just have a good time with it. But yeah, a really cool thing. I've pretty much accomplished every single thing with the Cayo Perico heist. I mean, I've run this thing with my eyes closed. You know, I've made millions of dollars uh, for other players, for random players, getting them paid, you know, just running this through and having a good time with it. I love it. It's a great way to make money. And this is a really fun way to keep it fresh and to keep it interesting. I challenge everybody to not only do something like this, but to do all the different approaches and do different things with it and see if you can't get the elite challenge and maximize your money and just have some fun with it. All right, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. And if it's something that, you, that really helped you out or my other videos help you out, Make sure you consider dropping a super thanks donation as well. That definitely helps me out. It's a direct way to support me on my channel. I really do appreciate that. Okay, guys? So thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Okay? Peace out. Yeah.